Hello everyone, and welcome back to Moons of Madness. So, we just barely escaped from uh, the Cthulhu monster, who is surprisingly fast for someone who has so many tentacles. Um, and now I think our goal is to find the crew and see where they are, figure out who's alive, who's dead, who's been mind flayed, all that good stuff. I think we're going this way? I'm not quite sure though. This is the first green light that I got, so I'm gonna follow it. And I try to look up to see if there's any sort of indicator as to where to go. And I don't see any sort of like objective points. I can connect to the O2 station? Why would I do that? Do I need O2? Yeah, we kind of need O2. Just a little bit. Or a good majority. Did your hand shake like that before? And I didn't notice? That was a weird animation. I mean, weird isn't like I don't understand why your hand would shake like that. It must be pretty intense oxygen. Okay. Out we go, into the open world. Hopefully Cthulhu monster can't follow us out here. But then again. At the satellite station. We can try to reestablish communications. I've got to warn them. Okay, we gotta go pilot the meerkat. Which I don't know why that didn't connect last time, that it's called a meerkat, like the creature. I wonder why they did that. I guess because meerkats are usually found in, not desert areas, but like, I guess... Terrain similar to this? I don't know. I mean, it's not a little bit weird that we haven't heard from Declan yet, considering that we were talking to him non-stop at the beginning of the game. Like, not even an hour ago. Canonically. I don't know. I feel like that would be a little bit concerning, that all of a sudden he's, uh, gone quiet. We were also talking to the lady. What was her name? Ina? Uh, and we haven't heard from her either. But she's long gone. Mentally, at least. She's definitely mind flayed. Um, start engine. So I don't know about her. I think uh, there's not really much hope for her left. But maybe for the others. I still don't know if I'm piloting this thing and I don't want to like do what I did last time because I think I skipped a cutscene and I didn't mean to. Or not. Maybe it was a natural transition. And it was just meant to like, you know... Like, they started off with some dialogue to make it sound like a natural conversation, and then it was going to go to a transition either way, and it just picked back up at the end of the conversation to make it feel like there was a natural flow. I wonder why they did that. Maybe they had a limited budget for dialogue. Or maybe I pressed a button and accidentally skipped it. Both are definitely possible. One more than the other. More likely than not, I just skipped it. And if that's the case, I apologize. But we made it, we're here. And this time we don't have to worry, because uh, apparently we're not making any dialogue with anyone this time. We're just alone with our thoughts, and it is terrifying. So on that positive note, let's go out into Mars! And see what these moons of madness have in store for us. What the fuck? No thank you. What the fuck? <laughs> That's exactly what I thought! Something wrong. Okay, so this may be a bad time to mention this. Um, Where did everything go? Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to head towards that, though. Can I go this way? Can I head away from it like a smart person would? This might be a bad time to mention this, but I started watching uh, the Alien movies. I rent. Oh, that's our flashlight on? Oh, that's not good. Um, but I started watching the first Alien movie. I haven't finished it. I'm, like, chunking through it because I'm a big old baby. And I'm like terrified. Like it's 70s, 80s horror, so it's nothing compared to like modern day horror. Like I definitely feel like people have gotten more uh, desensitized to horror. So like, you know, things that were terrifying in the 80s aren't really that terrifying now. But just like the concept, just the idea of it terrifies me. And this is reminding me of the introduction of the movie. And I really don't like it. I really don't like it because it's just everything screams no. Just so much screams no. And that's the other thing too. I have seen the Alien uh, game, Alien Isolation. I saw that before I saw the movies. Um, so that kind of gave me an indicator as to what to expect, which I feel like also, oh, Cave of Madness. That's always a great name for a cave you're about to go into. Oh, great, there are the Moons of Madness. There's the Cave of Madness. Why is your hand out in an open atmosphere? Are we not wearing a suit anymore? Oh, I don't have my helmet on anymore because my stats aren't below me. Oh, this is all very concerning. Are we just like wandering around Mars and we don't even know it? 
Like, are we in some sort of, like, haze? Okay. This looks like a place... Oh, hell no. You say that like, you know, it's just like, oh, hey, fun fact. I don't know. How are you calm with all this? How are you cool with all this? Oh, I'm just like, every every red flag, every alarm bell in my head is going off, and I really don't like this. Hold space to fork, fork is at the orb. Shit. Words. What's going on? I don't know. You tell me. Why is this happening? Uh, we are so getting mind flayed. We are so getting mind flayed. We are becoming one with the mind being flayed and the whatnot. Oh, we're gonna become Ina. Ooh. Were we like the chosen one or something? What the hell? What is this? Freaking the I don't know, the mines from Snow White? Doesn't like that. When I turn to look at it, it retreats. Never break eye contact then. Can I control it? Or am I interacting with the orb off off the side of the screen? I think that is the case. I'm still looking at you. Yeah, that's right. You stay over there. I'm just trying to figure out where does it want me to align this? No, 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 no. So could I have died? Is this thing going to kill me if I don't look at it? I kind of want to do it just to see what happens. I'm kind of curious. I want to watch it out of my peripherals. Can it kill us? Or does it stop at a certain point? It looks like it stops at a certain point? Okay. So that must be just like the test run. They're going easy on us, which I appreciate. Because that would be brutal if it could just kill us. I also like how it like does this like stop motion effect if you like keep checking on it. It's like a cat. It's like those videos of cats when they like, you know, you hide around the corner, you pop back up around the corner and oh, they're closer. <laughs> but they don't want to be seen. They don't want you to know. Okay. But what do you do? Can I go towards it? Maybe. If I go towards it, does it keep going back? Oh, it does. Okay, but that hurts. That hurts. That hurts. Ow, 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 We don't want to do that. No, 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 no. Okay. I can focus using space, but we don't want to head towards the black tentacles of death. Got it. I got it, I got it, I got it. I mean, I kind of figured that would be bad news. But at the same time... I was curious. I just had to know. We're fine. We're not dead. You know, we're certainly not doing great. We probably won have one hell of a migraine, but uh, we're not dead. So that counts for something, I would like to think. How do I get down from here? Am I just dropping down? Can I drop down here? There we go. Easy on the knees. A good gentle landing. Who needs superhero landings when you want to keep your knees? Okay, I don't really see any other way down. Can I go down this way? Gentle, I know. But we made it. You did a good job, my dude. Okay. Anyways, oh, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. This is very, very uh, Lovecraftian. Three connections, all pointing to individual orbs. It looks like, oh, hey, I'm looking at you. Where do you think you're going? I'm looking at you. No, 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 you don't come any closer. You get out of here. Get out of here. Keep it going. How far back can you go? All the way back. Perfect. I love it. Okay. Oh, no, I see you creeping up. <laughs> you're like a dog waiting for scraps. Like, hey, can, can you drop something my way? Maybe if you want to drop some food my way? Okay. But it's very seancey over here. It's very, very seancey. I guess. Would seance be the right word? Or ritualistic? Something along those lines? Get out of here. Am I gonna have to worry about you a lot? Are you gonna be an issue? That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Okay, can I do anything with you? I know. Is that thing gonna kill me? That's a little close for comfort, don't you think? I mean, I'm sure you're perfectly comfortable, but I am not, so get out of here. All the way back. That's right, all the way back. Okay, I'm gonna have to run. Can I run? I can kind of run, I forgot. Running isn't really a thing in this game. We have a bit more space over here, though, so I think we'll be okay. Like, there's a bit more distance between it and us, whatever it is. Is that the thing that turns our mind into goo? 
that flays our mind and lets us become the Cthulhu monster. Maybe Ina became the Cthulhu monster. Oh, maybe that's where it came from. She got mind flayed and then she just turned into a Cthulhu monster. I feel like I saw that somewhere. Like that was a thing that happened. I forget what game it was. I remember it was at, I think it was like an ad at E3 when I was watching live streams of E3. That happened, there was like this really, really graphic like visual of someone becoming like a Cthulhu monster. I can't remember what game it was for though. I think it was for a board game? I don't know. No, I don't know. I can't remember. Okay, last orb. No, 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 no. You let me finish my ritual. You let me finish my seance. Get out of here. I'm sorry if rituals and seances aren't the same thing. I'm sure they're not. But at the same time, I don't know the difference. So ignorance is bliss. What am I doing with you? You get out of here. Or do I need you? Do I need you to interact with the thing? Is that why you're trying to come over here? Say, I just want to interact with the stuff. Can you come any farther? Oh, you can definitely come farther. How close can you come? Too close. Okay, red light, red light, red light. Back it up. Back it up. Uh-uh, this is a one-way street, buddy. That's right, you back it up. You back it all the way up. One way. There is not enough room for the two of us. This road ain't big enough for the two of us. Just the two of us. There we go. I would prefer it just be the one of us, but uh, I don't really have a choice. Okay, so what am I doing here? I've wasted enough time here. Oh, I'm reading, of course. Do I have to worry about the thing while I read? Um, I know that's a very nice ink bottle, but I don't know if that's what we want to concentrate on right now. Okay, no, I think I'm safe while I'm reading because it definitely would have killed me by now. Okay, where am I? Sleep has no place to call its own. Who shall I conceive of the terrible wonders wrought by my secret labor? Will they who sleep reward me, punish me? Will they even notice the children of Mars worship the being whose name roughly translates to the Immaculate Machine? These orbs are artifacts of that mystery cult. They are filled with, powered by, that celestial light, anima. The light derives back the dark, but also the liquid enlightenment of the dreamers. What is this, Hollow Knight? Um, what benightened have called... Rot, black worm, and the filth. Uh, I'll reclaim the term from the unenlightened. I'll call it the filth because it stains the mind, pens the illumined text that rides in the wrinkly tome of the skull. The crawling muse. Sounds very weird. Um, in like a cool way, I guess. But it, it saturated my mind too much. A page dipped entirely in ink as is black as a white page, meaningless madness. The effort to write text becomes illegible. But what if I could drive back the filth just a little? If I had a little more of my human thoughts back, I could do so much more with the thoughts beyond human. I could achieve such marvels that neither human clay nor the liquid dreams of the sleepers could accomplish separately. So you're trying to become the best of both worlds, eh? Well, we know how that goes. The orbs are corrupted, but I can fix them. Yes, they who sleep will notice me when I wave into the infinitude of the abyss and it will smile back. Sure. And then there's a dragon ball. <laughs> okay. I don't know why, but that's the first thing I thought of when I saw that. It looks like a dragon ball. Okay, so you're the gunk, I guess, that they were referring to. This is very, very directional. Like, if I look so much as, like, a little bit to the right, it starts crawling again. Like, I have to make direct eye contact with it. Okay, we'll come back to there. We'll definitely come back to there. But I don't think there's anything else there I can do, or at least nothing comes to mind. So I feel like we might need to venture forward a bit. What is this? What are you? Take orb? This one's working differently. The scar is not charging this enough. Uh, maybe I need more energy. Maybe is the black inky abyss. Is Bendy going to get upset if I take this? Are you going to get upset if I take this, Bendy? Are you on the other side? Did you go straight on through to the other side? What the heck is this? The orbit decays? This looks like a room from Stranger Things. What the heck? What the hell is this place? I know, right? Your hands are full. You don't say. Can I place it down here? Oh, I can't just place the orb down. I got to put it back in the thing. No, why do I gotta put it back in the thing when I want to keep the thing in my hands, man? 
Oh, there's even more arrows. Oh boy. Okay, where am I? Sleep has no place to call its own. My name is, I'm guessing this is Ina, cause she's like the only one who seems to be going a little cuckoo ka uh, Today I vomited in disgust at my failure and what I vomited up tried to crawl away. It looked up pleadingly as I killed it. Easy, illegible. You are a scientist, aren't I? Oh no, you're talking about yourself in the third person. That's never good. There are no failed experiments, only more data to collate. Yes. The orbs are corrupted from their original purpose by the sibilant frequencies of filth. So I commanded the black worm to leave the orbs, but the filth is stubborn. It will not give up the corpse of its enemy. It is a light source, I suppose, but I do not require light. I have not used the bovine jelly of my sockets for some time? I'm sorry, are you trying to say that our eyes are made out of gelatin? What the heck? Where am I? Sleep has no place to call its own. My name is still don't know. I am still on this planet. Maybe it was someone who was here before us, but how would anyone get here before us? Did they colonize Mars before? I don't know. Like, we don't know if anyone was here before us. Anyways, um, easy. I will write down my method for writing reveals. I take the vermaculated or vermicu vermiculated orb and charge it using the machine I fabricated from the Martian schematics. Supercharging the anima burns out the infecting filth. It works, but only for the moment. The flare of the supercharged anima burns itself out momentarily, allowing the zero point pathogen to take root again. What if I soaked it in the pools? My theory is sound, I will achieve it. Okay, so right now it's covered in filth, so it's not going to work. The anima isn't going to light, and that's why. That's why our hand isn't glowing and we can't get it to work. So we need to soak it in the pools? Do we see pools on the way here and I wasn't paying attention? Some kind of experiment. Yeah, you don't say. Okay, so we need to soak it in pools to clean it because it's covered in the black gunk. Okay, and the orbit decays. I still don't know what that means. Okay, so is there some sort of, is there some sort of like pool nearby that we can put this in? I see you over there. I do appreciate that I can't get up close and personal with you. Like imagine if that was a death scene, like that thing just, you know, snakes around and kills you. That would be terrifying. Okay, just anything twitchy or like, you know, kind of like has unnatural movements. Like, I don't know. Your movements are kind of natural. Like when I look right at you, you know, it's like watching a snake move. No, I see you. Could I get killed by you? I guess if I am in your path, if I'm in your way, maybe you could kill me. Like I kind of want to try it just to see, but at the same time, I don't want to lose all the progress we've made. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll do it for shiggles once we figure out what to do. You know, like once we reach a checkpoint or something. But for now, I need to find some pools, I think, so we can wash this orb off and then maybe it'll work. I don't know. That's the only theory I've got so far. Okay, so maybe we should just place the orb here? Oh, okay. The orb is infused with energy. I thought I had to clean it off, but I thought about that. I was like, we haven't seen any pools. And like, if we go back, we can't go back very far because like that was kind of like a one-way trip that we took. Okay, so do I just need to focus on the orb then? I guess so. It has more of a red light though. I'm focusing. I'm focusing as hard as I can. And nothing is happening. So maybe we do need to find some pools to wash it off in. Whoa! Is that you? Hey, 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 I didn't know you could come this far. Yes, I did. I just forgot. That was terrifying. Yeah. I know, you don't like me looking at you, I don't like you grabbing me, okay? Can we just stop doing what the other doesn't like in general? I'll stop staring at you if you behave yourself, okay? <laughs> Again, it's like a dog, it's like I wasn't doing anything wrong. I'm just gonna leave, I'm just gonna go, okay? Okay, anyways, let's go ahead and take this back. I am happy that doesn't immediately kill you though. Like, I feel like there's a time and the place, yeah, I know my hands are full. My hands are full with a lot of things. Orbs and weird snake filth that keeps, what do you call dark worm? You're a dark worm, aren't you? My hands are full with a very temperamental dark worm and with this orb. 
But I feel like we need to find a pool or something, because that's what the note said. It said to find a pool and wash it, but I haven't seen anything. So I don't know where to go. Okay, so maybe now that it's filled with energy, it'll like open the way for us? Oh, uh -huh, here we go. Yeah, that's using the old noggin. There we go. Oh, but it's very temporary. It is very, very temporary. Okay. Or maybe we're just supposed to leave it there? I feel like we should take it with us. Does it go all the way away? It does. But at the same time, it comes back really quickly. I'll just leave it there, and if we need it, I can come back and get it. Hello? I saw some sort of inky madness going on. Oh! Someone... Is someone attacking me? You guys see that, right? They're like... There are veins? There's the weird gunk? Getting in my vision. Are you doing that? Who's doing that? Don't do that. Stop that. Is it you? Is it Darkworm Jim again? Darkworm Jim? Darkworm Jim. Stop it. Where are you? Who is doing that? It's still in the side of my vision. Wh who is doing that? Who, what, where, when, why, and how? I want all the answers, damn it. Okay. Um, where did we even come from? Which way did we come from? Stop it. We came from that way. Let's go this way then. Do I just need to... Okay, we reached a checkpoint, so I don't even care anymore. We just need to go. Oh, I think we do need it. Ow, 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 ow. I would love to place the orb, but I don't have one. Okay. Okay. I still don't know what we're doing. Oh, because we're close to the light. I was like, why is it, like, specifically here? It doesn't care, I guess. Like, it doesn't care for us to, to be here. And it, like, backs off. Because there's light there, of course. Okay. Um, focus. What, am I going to turn into 11 and just open the door? This feels very 11-y from Stranger Things. Oh, there's an orb there. Can I open the door? Why can I not open the door? Let me open the door, please. No? Okay, well, uh, well, I guess we don't have much say in that then. Um, okay. So can I use that orb? Can I take it with me? Come with me. Come with me if you want to orb in a new location. No. Okay. I guess it's very content there. Um, but now we can go this way? Are there more notes around here that I can read? Maybe? Possibly? Maybe you could not do that? Because it's kind of scary, but also mostly annoying. Whoa! It really is the upside down. Who would have guessed? Who would have thunk? Okay, anyways. All right, let's read one more thing and then I think I'm gonna leave the episode here. Where am I? Sleep has no place to call its own. Who am I? Do I exist? No one exists. We are just thoughts. More thoughts arrive. They look like space people. Space suits. They might wake up the dreamers. I think I will torture them. My mother frightened me with stories of witches and hags. Jenny Greenteeth pulling her children into the pond to eat. But my mother never existed. I mean, if you're a human, if you are a human being, or at least you were a human being, she had to exist at one point. If I am remembering how the human reproduction system works correctly, I don't know. Maybe things have changed in the future. I don't know. Anyways, I can be Jenny Green Teeth, Jenny Filth Teeth. I'll give the space people such nightmares. I wonder if the glow of this pretty, pretty orb would attract them. I could be the glass tooth grin below the light stalk of an anglerfish. Wish granted, you've been giving us plenty of nightmares. Okay, and on that note, I think I'm going to leave this episode here. And hopefully we'll meet whoever's leaving these notes in the next episode. I feel like maybe they're the person that turned into the Cthulhu monster that was chasing us around at the same time, though. Like, I don't know where they would have come from. Because we still don't know if anyone lived on Mars before our little group came along. So, I don't know. Something about this. It's really weird. Because, like, all of the... All the architecture in this area looks really old school. And, like, even, like, the pictures on the desk look old school. So I'm not quite sure. Like, I'm not quite sure how this works or how this could have happened. Like, I know it's probably paying homage to, you know, Lovecraft and his time. Like, when he was born and when he was alive and all that. Um... But at the same time, it's kind of dissociative in a way. Like, it's kind of like causing a disconnect where it's like, how could someone from that time have been here on Mars, if that makes sense? I don't know. 
I'm just curious to see how this is all going to connect. But either way, I'm going to leave this episode here. In the next episode, we'll continue forward and hopefully make our way out of this maze and see what else the game has in store. But that is going to be it for this one. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And of course, I do want to thank you all for watching. And I will see you in our next little adventure. Bye.